Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. It is Tuesday, August 22nd, and we are just loading up, getting ready to head down for the Minnesota State Fair. So I'm getting some hay loaded up, and then gotta get the show box ready. I gotta grab some feed yet, a few other things. So we have three families going down, so three kids, and it is our first time down there. It's all the kids' first time. Uh, one parent's been down there, she used to show, and then our other, it actually be grandpa that's going down with one of the kiddos has been there quite a few times he used to be a chaperone so i'm really lucky to have peter going and actually hauling the cattle down for us and the kiddos are going to ride with him we're actually leaving at like 11 30 tonight because it's supposed to be so hot the low is supposed to be 80 degrees so he's got a milk cow going down and we just have two heifers one of them is one that's being leased ah, crazy wind and uh so yeah, we're gonna go and get everything down there as early as possible while it's still cool out instead of having to be stuck in a line and it's, you know, 100 degrees. I think they're actually talking like the heat index is supposed to be like 114. So it's not gonna be fun the very first day at all. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure how much video I will get of the State Fair. I will try to get some. Otherwise, I'll try and snap a bunch of pictures and we'll go from there.
phenomenal class of Jersey Summer Year Ladies. Turning three purples, our first purple is Rachel Visser of McLeod County. Second purple to Camry Mauer of McLeod County. And third purple to Mila Nelson of Steele County. Well, certainly uh, one of the better classes I've had from top to bottom today. And, uh, Obviously, so as I awarded three purple, purple ribbons, but I think three really nice heifers, four really nice heifers in this class. I think the heifer that wins the class, though, puts herself there quite easily for me today. She's so balanced all the way throughout. She's long from nose and tail, clean up through that head and neck. I love how she blends from her neck to her shoulder, shoulder to her barrel. Furthermore, I feel she's a little bit harder over her loin, longer from hips and pins, and just a little bit nicer in how that tail sets in between those pins. Take nothing away from the heifer that I have in second. She made it to a hammer today. Heifer in second, another heifer. Loads of balance and style throughout. Just not quite as long, especially through that rib section as a heifer that wins the class. Second over third is the closest placing for me in the class today. I feel the heifer that's in second, just a little bit more crisper, a little bit cleaner all the way throughout, but that's a good pick. Third then over four, just more heifer, harder over her top line. I do feel that she walks also a little bit nicer on those rear feet and legs, especially if you would from the rear. But four exceptional heifers, congratulations to all four. Certainly a nice uh, class of Brown Swiss cows here to start this morning in our two-year-old class. And for me, I think I have a handy winner in the class. The class is a cow that's so long and, and clean in her line. She's long from nose to tail. And where's the best memory system in the class? She has just high and wide there. Um, smooth and long in that forearm. Furthermore, walking on a nice set of feet and legs, I do a bit. The cow in second is a little bit cleaner through her hawk than the winning cow today. But the cow in second, a cow that kind of follows that pattern of cleanliness throughout. Just a little bit cleaner from nose to tail. Also, just a little bit more popular memories is going to be the cow that comes in third. Third place cow, another cow that's really well balanced and has some nice memories. Is, uh, I do think she's just a little bit more level um, in the other floor than the cow that's second, in the second floor. Third, then over four, she uses that cleanliness and parts, cleanliness and parts of how she blends from front to rear. I'm over another really well made cow that I have in fourth. Fourth place cow, you admire for a lot of things that are going right. She's a cow that's wide and long from nose to tail. Four really nice cows, congratulations. Yeah, I mean, like... 
Arts Whispering, we'd like to congratulate Emma Cox of Steele County, who is exhibiting the champion production, Brown Swiss Cow. Her award is sponsored by Midwest Dairy Association. Anna also receives first place and a purple ribbon and second place to Jonathan Swaver of Dakota County. Well, two nice brown Swiss here in our three and four year old cow class. And cows that are made a little bit different, but the cow that wins for me today, just a little bit more power all the way through. She's a little longer for no one's and tail. She's a little bit deeper. One here in the junior two year old class, we have completed and we have two purples. First place with the purple is Tyler Murphy from Winona County, and second with the purple is Kelton Erler from Steele County. Here's Judge Hank. Well, thank you, Eric. Seven uh, junior two-year-olds here that are combined in both summer and spring, and I think we can like uh, all seven of them for different reasons here. We get up here at the top of the class, though, we got a July-born summer two-year-old that's already in about 60 days, the young man tells me, and she places over a full-age March junior two-year-old, spring two-year-old there. I think today, just on quality of bone, and when you get behind her, quite a bit more height with the capacity of rear rudder. She's cleaner in addition then, right through the thigh, right through the hock. I like the length and extension of the neck, and just the flatness all the way through. Certainly I'm gonna grant our second place animal a little advantage there in the teeth length, which is a tick long in the first one, and she's quite a bit nicer right there through the pastern and through the foot. It would be Gary Hiss and Bloom that gets uh, uh, that uh, spring yearling over another summer, uh, a spring uh, two-year-old over another summer two-year-old here, just a lot more width and height that we're under, a lot more cleanliness and refinement up through the head and neck and right through the hock and through the bone, but man, what a balance incredibly deep and open uh, uh, kind of a summer two-year-old we got there. And then she places over another uh, spring two-year-old here, just on that depth, you get them in line, quite a bit more depth, the flank, openness of rear rib, then you get behind her too, she's got just a little more overall height, the rear under there, certainly all grand back, just a little advantage of hock and the black cow leaving the ring there. Then we get down here, some wonderful individuals here for hearing this, big strong cow here, we've got to give the young man credit, he hung on, and Austin's going to help us again here, she wanted to go where she was here, good job kind of get back in the game here seven quality individuals here to open up the uh, uh, dairy show above and beyond the single entrance break here. Congratulations. I think Eric uh, commented, uh, and I agree with them, a real nice, real strong cow show uh, all the way through here this morning. And uh, wrapping up here now with uh, a senior champion. I understand we don't have grand champion, but senior champion uh, uh, cows as we start to come through here today. I pulled out the five. Uh, and, uh, to me, he really stood out in our class today. And that two calf, senior two year old here, that calf here about 60 days ago. Got County and second purple to Julie Dillon of Sherburn County. Well, congratulations to you all, and it's nice to see that uh, all you exhibitors have uh, won some other awards here at the fair. That's really what it's all about. But for me, um, love the class, love the old cows here, the age cows, and, and it really it came down to the top two cows here for me, and I did make the switch at the end. Uh, I think two different kinds of cows. I
judge says stop or holds, holds a hand up. Uh, this will take a little bit of time. There are like 400, over 400 for each year showing dairy cattle here at the State Fair. And we will have a couple different uh, groups of showmanship. But as we work through showmanship, I'd like to introduce you to the rest of our judges today. Crystal Sin judged our red and whites, our crossbreds, and some of our other colorbred animals. Crystal Sin grew up in Cleveland, Wisconsin on her family.
In addition to the horses and their beauty, we get to see the wagons, the wagons that are exhibitors used to promote their farm, the beautiful fifth wheel wagons. Beautiful paint jobs, all honoring the farms of each individual. Thank you. 
a victory pass. As I said, a very stable part of the Minnesota State Carrier winner today, the Ames Portraits. Congratulations, Mr. Travis Shaw. You're awful quiet. This is a Minnesota team.
Day Fair. We have had a very big day of showcasing our gentle giants, our halter lesson this morning, where we were crowning our champions. We crown our champions, and today, in ninth place, it is entry number 12. That is the intro of the Stahlheim family, joining us from Amory, Wisconsin. Andrew going to drive in. In eighth place, entry number one, the entry of the Pippin Perturides. This family is joining us from Claremont, Minnesota, Mark and Tracy Pittman on the seat. Open the gate if you would please make sure the gate is open. In the seventh place today will be entry number 10, and that is the entry of the Stephens family. Another great hitch from the state of Minnesota. They joined us from Plainview, Minnesota, Matt Stephens doing the right thing. Our sixth place award today is number 26, that is the Wallace Clydesdales, all the way from Dolphin, Manitoba, Canada, to be a part of our show. Mr. Clark Wallace is doing his own thing for the Wallace Clydesdales. We're now moving into our drive-off contenders. Fifth place today, entry number 32. That is the Hemmersbach Percheron entry. Joining us from Cashton, Wisconsin. Wally Hemmersbach and his family, great supporters of our fair. His daughter Lori making her way around to pick up the award. Our class sponsor, Jay 
Seabird Companies with Ethan Schmidt presenting the awards at our National Flight Sale Queen. We're going to allow Ethan to step up on that wagon and take a victory pass with your winning six horse hitch. And again, thank you to Jaybird Companies for sponsoring. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a tremendous class and they are your champions today. As they make their way around, our congratulations going to Mr. Travis Shaw doing the driving of the Ames Perthron. Jessica, we are home again after our trip to the State Fair. We were gone for five days. What did you think of your first time down at the Minnesota State Fair? It was really fun. What was your most favorite part? Um, it was fun showing with my friends and the draft horse show was cool. What was your least favorite part? It was hot. It was and then really... on show day it was cold. <laughs> You're saying that 75 was cold? It was windy too. <laughs> so, would you go down again? If it wasn't hot, then yes I would. So if it's hot, you're not going to go? Well, if it's like 140 degrees, then yeah, I wouldn't go. <laughs> 140. <laughs> so did you learn a lot while you were down there? Yes. We, I also learned how to breed a cow. Yep, on Friday, you guys went to work. Uh, workshops, workshop. and all three of our kids from Carleton County picked out the workshop with AI breeding. And so, what was that like? It was really gross and cool and stinky. What was gross? The gross part was that they actually had the rectum of the cow. You it mean was, you mean the reproductive tract? Yeah, it was really gross. <laughs> but it was cool at the same time. Yeah, it was fun playing war with Weston and Tyler. And um, it was also fun walking around, went, and then we went to the Vikings booth and we all got to spin the wheel. Very cool. Thanks for watching and God bless.